All right, now we want to talk about parallelograms. What is a parallelogram? It's, no, it's not a new experimental drug that has a bunch of side effects. This is it's a geometric figure. Let's, let's do this. So this guy is a geometric figure. with parallel opposite sides of the same length. I guess I need to be a little bit more specific about this. I can't just say any geometric figure. I really should have said a quadrilateral. So. I sure hope I didn't misspell that. But it wouldn't surprise me if I did. Hey, I'm a math guy, right? Math people can misspell words. Is that okay? No. No? Rats. It's, a, it's close enough. If you guys don't know the difference, then I'm okay. Anyway. So when I say quadrilateral, that means something with four sides. So it's got four sides. Opposite sides have the same length, and they are also parallel. What does parallel mean? They don't overlap. They won't ever intersect, right? They run next to each other, run side by side. What other crazy things you guys can come up with for describing it? So as long as I'm doing this correctly, this does not look like a parallelogram, but it's close enough. Something like that, right? Uh, all right, so I got a little off. Now, so we're saying this side is parallel to this side, and these opposite sides here are parallel, and they also have the same length. Okay. Now, if I were talking about the perimeter for this, if I said this was 9 centimeters and this was 14 centimeters, could you find the perimeter for this figure? Mm -hmm. How could you find the perimeter? I could add all these sides up, right? Because if it's 14 here, what's it on the other side? So it's going to be 14 here. And what about if it's 9 here? has to be 9 here because of the way that a parallelogram is described, this is how it works. So you've got 14 plus 9 plus 14 plus 9. What is all of that together? It's how much? So it should be 46 centimeters, right? Now the problem that we have is what about the area? How do we go about talking about the area for something like this? Well, that's where I think that the graph paper comes in very handy for us. And so that's what we want to look at. So we're going to draw a parallelogram. I'm going to make it look a lot better than this guy. I'm going to use my graph paper that I had before. Okay. So let me draw this. <coughs> that looks like a much better parallelogram, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a lot easier when you got some some you don't care. Now, to find the area for this, it's, you know, what would you do? Here's, here's something. I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to cut this off. That's why I've got scissors. So, excuse me for just a moment.
I'm almost there, sorry. Here, there's more stuff cut up for you. I'm almost there, don't worry. Alright. So, is that good? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Nope, I've got this. So, if you're at home, you might want to pause this and get your own pair of scissors. There we go. Now, if you will recall, <coughs> that was my parallelogram, right? Still the same as it was, minus a few extra pounds. Now, what if I take this piece right here, this <coughs> triangle, and I do that? Now, did I, let me ask you this, did I take off any of the area? No, all of the area is still accounted for within the blue stuff, right? I just rearranged it and I created a shape that I know, right? I just created a what? And what we know about rectangles is that the area was what? Don't say two, twice the length and twice the width. That's perimeter. The area for a rectangle was base times height or length times width. It doesn't really matter, right? So if I look at this, you've got this whole guy right here as your base, and then you've got this as your height. So don't you have that rectangle? So a parallelogram, in terms of the area that it occupies, is the same thing as a rectangle that has that same base and the height. Cheryl's looking at me like, Mr. Craig, mind <laughs> equals blown. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm all about. So I'm going to take this guy, and we're going to draw another one. I should have kept that guy. He was nice. You know one of the things I really like about parallelograms is that it reminds me of Tennessee. So if I give you this parallelogram, and I say that he has a height of... 10 meters, and he has a base of 17 meters. Can you find the area? This is where you're supposed to all say yes so that everybody on YouTube knows that you know what's going on? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Great. So the area for this guy is what? How do I figure that out? That's your base, which is 17 meters, times what? The height, which is 10 meters. Does this side length over here matter? Not for area, but if I were doing... Perimeter, it would matter. And if I were doing perimeter, would the height matter? The height doesn't affect your perimeter. No. So what's 17 times 10? It's 170, right? That's one of the great things about multiplying <coughs> times 10. You add a zero. So this is 170 meters, right? No. no 170 square meters. Fait attention. Yes, I'm tricky. What's really tricky is to rock a rhyme that's right on time. That's tricky. Are there any questions about this? <coughs>